Yo, this is your front-end dev guy, Christian. The fact that you're here means you're looking for JavaScript projects to build and add to your portfolio so you can impress a potential employer. If you want to get a web dev job that changes your life dramatically, you are aware that you need a portfolio to prove that you talk the talk and walk the walk. You hear people talking about projects, projects to build, best projects for beginners, portfolios, blah, 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 all the freaking time. And probably you are wondering what the hell is a project and more importantly, what qualifies as a good project. I know because I was literally in the same boat as you, always browsing the internet, trying to find the right thing to do for my level. And side note, I didn't even know my level, I just winged it all the time. And that was, as you would expect, extremely frustrating and time consuming. I had this eagerness to apply the things I was learning, but I felt like nothing was legit. How can something as simple as a, let's say, counter app teach me anything? And I kept researching and procrastinating until literally one day I decided to actually do something about it. A few months later, things started to come together. I built my portfolio, got a call from a recruiter, had an interview, and one or two weeks later, I got an offer and my whole career took off. Since then I lived in four different countries, traveled in over 20, money isn't a problem anymore and helped other beginners just like you start their career in tech. And this is exactly why I created this video to help you get a good overview on what type of JavaScript projects you need to work on in order to persuade an employer that your skills are a must for their company. Disclaimer, this JavaScript video is for you if you already started your programming journey and you are ready to build a highly impactful portfolio of JavaScript applications so you can land your very first 80K a year web dev job. And this is also for you if you are a complete beginner and don't know exactly how should your portfolio look like when it comes to building JavaScript applications. So if you are ready to learn more about how you should think when it comes to building JavaScript projects so you can land a high paying developer job, leave the remote lifestyle and be safe from AI or job automations, let's take a deep dive right into this video. Okay, so this is my CodePen profile and uh, you can actually search for me, YOLO on the battlefield. And I want to show some of the projects that I have built myself. So I started with uh, HTML and CSS. I didn't know JavaScript that well. So I decided, okay, if I'm not going to be good at JavaScript, I'm going to spend a shit ton of time learning how to create beautiful HTML and CSS. And this was my first creation. This is an entirely made, this thing is entirely made from HTML and CSS. There is no JavaScript in here, no images, nothing. So this was my first uh, project that I have built, okay? Next, another project that I have built was this light bulb. Very simple HTML and CSS project that taught me how to use my skills okay because i was learning a bunch of things about positioning and stuff like that and i went ahead and i created this little thing i think it looks pretty pretty i think it looks pretty pretty uh sorry even uh, nowadays but this is not javascript okay you are here to learn about javascript so let's look into that i found a few examples on the internet and um, i want to show them to you and then i'm going to tell you what i would add on top of this existing functionality so as you can see this guy matt has created a countdown to his birthday and uh, apparently there are one days one day 10 hours 12 minutes and 24 seconds left till his birthday very very simple application uh, this is going to teach you how to work with timers how to parse numbers into dates and so on and so forth what i would do here is first thing i would do is i would uh, change this text to be if it's one it should say day not days right because this is not proper english uh that would be the first thing that i would change so i would make sure that um all my numbers um have this text in plural or singular depending on the number that's in there anyway besides that i would add for example something like a prompt to ask the user what their date of birth is so then you can calculate how many days are till your actual birth not just till his birth if that makes sense then i would persist that date of birth in a local storage so next time when i open the application i don't have to insert my date of birth again because it's already saved in there um, another thing that i would add would be something like showing the actual age that you have so if you put 11th of october 1994 i would say 27 years and then when I'll be 28, it's gonna be 28 and so on and so forth. Then you can also 
take the average life expectancy, which is 70, I guess, I don't know. And then you show something like you have 50 years left to live, make the most out of them, and then you can put a motivational quote or something like that, right? So that's how you expand on this basic, basic project. Again, I, I always talk about this in my videos, you need to stack up features rather than stacking up skills. Because if you stack up those features, you'll be learning a lot of skills. But if you learn skills from tutorials, like most people do, you will never be able to put them into practice. You will never actually internalize how those skills and tools uh, work and how they are useful to you, you know? Anyway, let's go to the next one. Let's see this one. This is a counter app, very, very simple. So increase, and decrease. It's a cool feature. Actually, my students are making this as well, something very similar to this. Uh, as you can see, I'm increasing a number and I'm decreasing a number. Very, very simple stuff. And also, if the number is above zero, the color is gonna be green. If the number is below zero, the color is gonna be red. Very, very simple stuff. Another thing that you could do is add different buttons here where you would be able to multiply the number by two. So let's say here you have one, then you press this button, it's gonna be one times two, then it's gonna be two. Then you press again, it's gonna be two times two, then it's gonna be four, then it's gonna be eight, then 16, then 32, then 64, 128, and so on and so forth. Another one could be divide by a random number, or then here it can be multiplied by a random number. So you can keep adding stuff to this, to this application forever if you want to. Then you can put, let's say like a guess game with it. If you, you can type in a number here and then press the random button here, which is gonna have like a dice and then see if you match that number that you were thinking about. I don't know, just an idea. Don't quote me on that, but you can try it. And if it works, let me know. Uh, this is an application made in React, okay, again. Uh, this is not, um, not again, okay. Uh, this is not JavaScript, this is React, which is like a library built on top of JavaScript. But as you can see here, we have some text. Hey, my name is Christian. And this is uh, my text. This is my text. These are my characters, the amount of letters I have, the amount of letters and spaces I have in, in this text. And here I have a maximum number of characters that I can add in probably like in a tweet. And then what I have here is I have a mathematical operation. You can also, also do this with JavaScript. Um, so this is not like specific to React. And this is like a mathematical operation where you can figure out what is the percentage of 23 out of 130, okay? And then based on that, you're gonna set the width of a smaller circle that lives within a bigger circle. Very simple stuff. It teaches you how to think, how to solve problems. Let's go to the next one. Tip calculator. You can have, let's say 30 bucks. And then here you wanna change the tip percentage. Very simple stuff, but effective. Another one, let's see what we have in here. Celsius to Fahrenheit. Again, a very basic application. You convert, let's see, 20 degrees to Fahrenheit. Then you have Kelvin as well. So you can have, for example, for this specific application, you can have different buttons. Like for example, convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius, Fahrenheit to Kelvin, uh, Celsius to Kelvin, Kelvin to Fahrenheit, Kelvin to Celsius. So you can have all these combinations uh, in one single application, okay? You can also say like, uh, if the temperature is above this number, show it as red. If it's above this number, but below this number, show it as orange. Uh, if it's in between zero and five, make it dark blue and so on and so forth, just to show the user how hot or cold is it outside, okay? And you'd have different numbers uh, that would represent the, the temperature for the user based on the type of, um, how can I, how is this called? Celsius and Fahrenheit, like scale that you're measuring on, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's that. Let's see the next one. And this is the infamous to-do app, okay? This is actually made by a student. 
and I believe the to-do app is probably one of the most important applications that you have to make and this application is not made for your portfolio. None of these applications that I showed you here are made for your portfolio actually. I lied to you. These, these applications are made for you to learn different concepts that you will be using to create your portfolio. Because in my opinion, your portfolio should be one application, okay? Not a website with all these apps like most juniors have, okay? It should be one application that is big, solves a real problem, and you've been working on it for many, many, many months. But if you just start with these simple applications, I'm pretty sure you'll be way, way ahead of anyone else who is just watching YouTube all day. Knowing what to do, which I just, I just showed you what you have to do, is different than actually doing it. It's super important to understand. You cannot be trapped in the watching content phase forever because you'll get nowhere. I spoke with like hundreds of people to this point and everyone has the same problem. They are all stuck and they wish they would have started earlier, including myself, because it took me probably six months till I actually started implementing no the knowledge that I had. And then three months later, I got hired. So this thing is so powerful. For example, when I work with someone that has been watching a bunch of YouTube uh, videos and Udemy videos and what, whatever, it's so easy for me to like make them like skyrocket the results. It's hilarious actually, you know. They have like this fear of like, oh, what if this is a, a waste of time? What, what if this is a waste of money? But no, it's not. It's actually, I'm focusing their attention like a laser into what matters. Because if you are spending four, six hours a day doing random things without purpose, or you might think they have a purpose, but you don't know exactly what works and what doesn't because you're not a developer, right? If you are spending four hours or six hours doing random things, at some point you'll get exhausted and you'll never be able to reach your full potential. But if you have like just two hours, but you are fully focused into the right thing, you'll absolutely crush it. I can absolutely guarantee you that. And that's why I have a guarantee for my program. So if you are unsatisfied with my coaching, if what I'm telling you to do, you do it and it doesn't work, I'll give you all your money back. And I also have another guarantee, which is I'm gonna work with you until you get hired. So no matter how long it takes, I'm gonna be there and help you, okay? Because I know what I do works so, so well. It's up to you to do the thing. Because right now you know what you have to do. You have to apply for a free consultation call, but it's up to you if you're gonna do it and you're gonna make the step towards getting that first dev job where you can make 80k a year or more. I have multiple students that are making six figures. All my students are working remotely. Most of them, they are now traveling all over the world. Yeah, things change really quick when you have the right guidance, the right mentor and the focus, you know, the laser beam focus uh, towards making your career change because you can change a lot of things in six months. I can tell you that honestly, even in two weeks, you can change a lot of things if you are laser focused. If you ever tried to lose weight or something like that, you notice that if you just focus and dial in your diet for two weeks, if you had a coach as well, and you just do the right exercises, your body starts to change, like not a lot in two weeks, but then you start seeing the changes, like slightly. Your muscles start to become a bit more toned, your skin gets a bit more, you know, dry, you know, your veins start to show up a little bit. You're kind of working a bit more tall on the street, things start to change and then you get motivated and you get pumped up. And when you work with me, you will have exactly the same experience. And this is not going to be for two weeks. This is going to be for three months, six months. You'll have that sensation every single day. You'll feel like you are taking the ultimate cheat code, you know, like in GTA San Andreas, when you type in God mode and then you can kill everyone. And then you have like that tank, you use the the rockets from the tank uh, as uh, nitro, you know, to get the boost and speed. Anyway, yeah, so if you wanna work with me to literally boost your results, apply for a free consultation call. The link is in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.